When I think of creating balance, I think of the circus and the trapeze and someone walking on a high wire. There's danger on either side, but you've got to take little tiny steps and you've got to solve problems. And uh, as an artist, it's a bit like that for me, that desire to get it right, desire to follow that straight path and, and not fall off it. Creating balance to me is normally the balance between my vision and how much time I have to create it. A lot of the time I work with people so I don't have much time given to me by them so I've got to balance what they have to create the vision and the image that I want. In my life as an artist there's always that balance, you can get completely immersed in something. All the time I have to kind of balance what's happening in my head and my artwork but also when I step out of that, when I'm a dad and a husband and a, you know, I live the everyday life and have to do shopping and feed the cats and things so there's always that balance between kind of not getting completely lost in, in what I'm doing with my painting and coming back to the real world. balance in my life is normally between studying at university and trying to deal with client work at the minute. It's trying to sort of balance the two, do the client work as well as get my grades and do the stuff I need to do before I leave uni. The lamp's been a really nice opportunity for me to have fun. I've been using surfaces that I can find as palettes for ages but to use the lamp not only as a kind of light source to help me uh, see what I'm doing, to actually use it as part of a material that I'm working with, so it's become my, my palette. I like the fact that it's changing every day, I'm adding new layers to it and you know there's this kind of history of, of all my paintings for the last few months. The lamp's changed my work a lot, it's given me a constant source of light which I'm not really used to. I use flashes a lot so I don't normally see the image until I've taken it. It's helped as well when I'm filming, it allows me to light people constantly while I'm filming. I remember in school my teachers always talking about the fact that when you're painting it's just about light and shadow. And when I look at my work now, I really, I didn't realise it at the time, but now it is just about light and shadow. When I'm painting, I'm often painting just with black and white, and it's just about fooling people into thinking that something that is flat has, has form and has substance. Light is extremely important in my work. Um, a lot of the time I've got to compare the two different types of light I want to use. Often the absence of light is what I use when I like cars and like people and things like that to create a moody image. When I like food, I'll need to sort of flood the whole image with light. Um, and those are the sort of two different types that I go for. I'm my dog size. I'm an urban artist. Hello, I'm Jack Daly and I'm a photographer and filmmaker.